There's more than one reason why Detroit is nicknamed Motor City. It's headquarters for America's auto industry. But that's also spawned some tourist attractions that are worth a detour, even if you're not a car enthusiast. The Henry Ford Museum holds more than a million objects, and not all cars. It has the actual rocking chair that President Abraham Lincoln was sitting in the night he was assassinated. Here's Thomas Edison's last breath, preserved in that glass tube, or so they say. How's that for a keepsake? This is the most photographed item in the museum. Built in 1941 to haul coal, the Allegheny locomotive is 125 feet long and weighs over 600 tons. Proof of our continuing fascination with superpower. A vehicle like this that you have to crank to start is harder than Hank to start in cold weather. The Henry Ford Museum is the largest indoor-outdoor historical complex in the world. With more than a hundred cars and thousands of artifacts, you can wander for hours. When your feet need a break, step up to the 1940s roadside diner. And before leaving, make sure you've seen the parade of presidential limos. Included is the 1961 Lincoln Continental that carried John F. Kennedy the day he was shot. Hold on to your seat. The turbo tour takes you from the assembly line to the test track. This full motion simulator is found in the new Spirit of Ford building just opposite the museum. Okay, so not everyone in your travel party is turned on by turbo action. No problem. Detroit also has a fantastic art institute. It holds more than 55,000 items, including Impressionist paintings, Italian art, Flemish paintings, and plenty more. Public tours are offered Wednesday through Saturday at 1 p.m. And don't miss North America's finest fresco, Diego Rivera's Detroit industry. The idea was to decorate this wonderful space with murals that reflected ideas about Detroit, and nothing was more Detroit than the auto industry. The two major panels from the mural show scenes that Rivera envisioned went on after great study at the Ford Rouge plant. If you want to stop over in Detroit, try the Dearborn Inn. This is not your typical roadside motel. This heritage property features accommodation in replica homes of some famous Americans, such as Walt Whitman and Edgar Allan Poe. 